Four years ago, a woman I've known for 38 years asked me to marry her after several 15-hour-long phone calls. For the record, I am 44 and she is 55. I moved next door to her family when I was eight. The man she has been living with in Michigan, Thomas Wayne Randall, aged 64, has cut her off from all communication and hijacked both her daughter's Meta, Facebook, and Instagram accounts, along with other family members. He has been gaslighting me, pretending to be various people both online and on my text threads. All information online has been scrubbed and or changed. There is no evidence available she is even alive. I have kept records and posted most of them to the Internet Archive as per the guidelines of the National Domestic Violence Hotline, using the Truecaller app and E2PDF. One document shows him, for 69 pages, over a year, pretending to be her Aunt Carol, a woman in her 70s. Ten months ago, I poured out all my writings on deviant art. I am a musician and writer and was planning on making a living at these activities anyway, but now I am holding off any monetization in favor of raising awareness. I feel the more people know, the safer she is. I am actively seeking an attorney to sue him in civil court for mental anguish due to his gaslighting. He works for the Troy office of Ryan LLC, but hasn't paid his home's taxes in nine years, owing over $90,000. The case currently is filed with Oakland County. He even has a white supremacist hate group reference, claiming he is the sheriff of Oakland County on his publicly viewable second mortgage. I am in Texas. Every minute of every day I am torn inside, not knowing even if my fiancé is alive. The police will do nothing. He meets them at the door, although when he was pretending he was Aunt Carol, he claimed to be an invalid. He tells them everything is fine. That's good enough for them without even seeing her. Private investigators, 13 of them, told me the case was too dangerous, even with $10,000 in my hand. Does anyone know someone that can help? No one will do anything. Just believe the narcissist or dismiss this without any examination of the over 1,000 pages of collected evidence. In 10 months, I have earned over 590,000 reads on deviant art. The verbal station oblong box that I started a week ago has over 25,000 listens. I'm building up to 25 videos with edited public domain footage and original audio for a YouTube launch. Four separate manuscripts will be ready for publication soon. I work full-time at writing, audio, and video production. Every waking moment is spent producing more material, growing a larger audience, spreading awareness of this domestic abuser, and my missing fiancé, Patty. I will never rest until he is brought to justice and she is safe. Thomas Wayne Randall lives at 2164 Craig and Lane in Lake Orion, Michigan. My fiancé's name is Patricia Ann Roberts. She has never been married, and MyLife.com still lists her as single, as well as he. She told me he tore apart her five tiny dogs, forced her to bake them on a cookie sheet, and watch while he ate them. More information is available on DeviantArt and the Internet Archive. Searching for Oblong, the Prophet Oblong, the Gospel of St. Patricia, in any browser will reveal page after page of hits. I have published on many other sites, and I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, etc. My website hasn't been built yet, but the uh, business email is operational, oblong at oblong.com. There is nothing for sale on any of these sites. If you or anyone you know can help in any way, it could actually save a life. My full name is Michael Patrick McKenzie. Thank you for your time. It is truly the only thing we will ever have, and yours is appreciated.